Hey loves, I'm Naturally Carla and welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be using some products from a brand I haven't used in years, which is Shea Moisture. There's no particular reason why I haven't used Shea Moisture in a very long time. It's just pretty much because around the time I started using Shea Moisture, it was the only thing that was like out at the time, along with probably like three other products for natural hair. So the first product I'm going to be using is their protein treatment. Now the, pro the treatment is very, very, very thick. So it's not something that you're going to be able to detangle your hair with. It's something that you're going to need to massage in your hair. And then for me, I like to sit under a dryer and let the product just melt into my hair and do its job for about 15, 20 minutes. And then afterwards, you, can, you should be able to comb your hair through your hair because it is a treatment. And with certain kind of treatments, you won't get a, a detangling type of thing. Like with Camille Rose Naturals, it tends to kind of smooth through your hair with a little bit more slip because I think of the water. You know how it's just kind of watery compared to this thicker product. So this is product is something that you're just going to have to massage into your hair for the treatment. And it is just a protein treatment. Not everything is going to be exactly how you want it to be so if you want something that's a little bit more liquidly then you will go with like Camille Rose Naturals protein treatment but this is a thick protein treatment and honestly it was really good I washed my hair out in cool water and my hair felt so soft and manageable this is the results of how it looked after I washed the product out my hair my curls are very defined and I like to do this because I like to do a protein treatment before I blow dry my hair. I like to do a protein treatment before I blow dry my hair and after um, I'm over like the, like I've just got enough out of my hair, then I do a protein treatment afterwards as well or a cholesterol treatment because I like to restore what I lost from using heat. So when that's just my prep work, like before I blow out my hair, I do a protein treatment and after I'm on a new wash day to be more specific I will go ahead and just do another protein treatment or a cholesterol treatment so I'm sorry that it's so cut off y'all I didn't even realize it was because I was looking down but I'm pretty much trying to section my hair in threes and do like a crisscross braid now I had a different look I was going for when I did this and let me tell you it did not come out the way I wanted it to <laughs> I just, I just had, I'm not much of a braider. I, I can braid decently, but I'm not really good with my parts. So I'm still trying, I'm still learning how to part my hair on myself for styles. It's easier to do it on somebody else when you're trying to be a little bit more creative with your braiding designs. But when I'm doing it on my own hair, it's a lot more difficult. So this was the best you was going to get. So don't go too hard on me, y'all. Like, this was just the best you was going to get. And I just wanted to do something a little bit more pizzazzy in the front so it just wouldn't be a basic sum up, sum down look. The only thing I will say about this look that I did not like um, is I'm, my little top part. I didn't add uh, I didn't add enough hair to it. So off camera, I added more hair to the top part of my hair. So like the picture, it will look a little bit more fuller. But that's the only thing. So make sure you don't have a McDonald's looking ponytail too heavy. Because <laughs> I end up making it go like, hey, you know, a little bit too thin at the top. And I should have added more hair. And I wasn't really thinking about it because I had looked at it on camera from like the view and I was like, oh, okay, it looks pretty good. But then afterwards when I started taking pictures, I was like, I don't really like how thin it looks at the top. It looks like I didn't, I didn't put enough hair. So then I ended up fixing it for my pictures. So that's like the only thing. So, but of course it's this style is for you to do whatever you want to do. It's, you know, it's no harm. So I'm just going to do a braid on each side. I'm just giving you ideas, you know, you can make this your own pretty much. So but anyway, again back to Shea Moisture. It's a, it's a brand I've used years ago and then other stuff came out and it became so overwhelming. When I first went natural, I used to make my own products. And looking back, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea because I didn't even have as good of knowledge about making my own products. Like it was just basic knowledge that was out and it was like very the minimum. And I would notice that my hair sometimes wouldn't do too well with raw shea, shea butter or raw shea kind of coconut oil and you know at the time you're just trying to do whatever any natural is saying and you're not really listening to an actual professional stylist like my aunt who was a professional stylist she would have like 
different kind of hey just use a shampoo and conditioner it's not that deep just get a deep conditioner treatment you know but of course her products at the salon were always going to be better because you they can buy better stuff you know versus what was out at the time for us it just wasn't a lot so it was just easier to do a mayo treatment an egg treatment you know all that stuff so i'm just so happy that the natural movement has came as far as it's come and now the thing about shea moisture is they have so many products like i sometimes never know what to get like i just go in there so i just picked up a whole bunch of random stuff that i was sent like because i get sent stuff you know i get pr so i just picked up like a whole bunch of random thing and i don't i don't really get it like i got some stuff from a shea moisture event and then some stuff i was sent from sally's because sally's would just you know send you some things and you see how i did that oh yeah i put that little ponytail in and made it look like i did that i planned to do my braid like that when i did it so this is a um this is a curl a, a cream custard and it's for transitioning hair and dry hair like really dry hair and since when i do a blowout my ends tend to get really really dry so i'm going to be doing using this product and i'm only going to be using this product because on my blowouts i don't want I, I don't want nothing that weighs my hair um weighs my hair down because I'm looking for a particular type of curl, like a fluffy type of curl. And I'm using the I don't know what what sizes these are because nowadays they don't have the sizes on them anymore. They used to back in the day, but for whatever reason they stopped doing that. So they're just the long, thin blue ones. And that's the only way I can tell you. And I'm just wrapping my hair around the rod and I'm leaving space in between the um the the curl and i'm also going to be doing it in a downward way because if you do it in a downward way it gives you like more length versus excuse my dogs my little brother is home from college so they're going to act up but yes yeah, so if you do it towards a downward way then you'll get like a more elongated curl versus if you like if you just do it straight to the scalp, it's really hard to explain. But I'm also adding in water. I forgot to add. I'm using my little mister just to add in a little bit of water. Just to give it a bit of hydration. Because again, on blow dry hair, it's a bit dry. But I don't want to take away from the actual look. I don't want it soaking wet. I want it to be fluffy and kind of wrinkly. Like what you saw in the front. And I'm, do, I'm purposely working in medium, larger sections. Because I want a fluffy curl to pull apart. I don't want nothing too tight. Like I want it to be full. Okay, so I finally got him to shut up. Anyway, so I want it to look like a, a curl slash wave. So that's why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. Also, to keep my ends secure, I like to use edge control. Because that's the only thing that keeps my ends together. So I can dry my hair. Now, I sat on the dryer for about an hour to let everything set and because I wasn't about to sleep in my hair like this with my hair downwards like that like no I wasn't about to do that at all anyway and also if you hear like a sh -sh -sh noise that's just my dog's nose in my speakers so I'm sorry <laughs> a lot of times he'd be in there trying to lick my uh my computer for whatever reason but um yeah anyway so now I'm just going to take it down and as you can see it's like a fluffy kind of wave looking curl and that's really what I was going for. So I'm just going to take everything down and then I'm going to pull my, uh, my, my hair apart and then pick my hair and that's going to be it.
Yeah, so this is it. This is the curl that I'm looking for. And now I'm just going to pick my hair for a little bit more volume. And you can see what I mean by that McDonald's looking ponytail. Just, just a little. So I added some hair from the back and just pinned it to the front. My hair is so fine. Like at the crown of my hair is always like that for whatever reason. Like that part of my hair is always finer than the rest of my hair. It's borderline thin. I don't know why I like the crown of my hair is always thin, but... That's just how it is, which is why I always like to put normally put rods right at the top of my crown so it can fold that area out because it'll just fall flat and just you'll just see my scalp and everything else. So this is the finished look. Again, long as you add a little bit more to your ponytail, it won't be as thin as mine's. But this is just what happens when I'm I'm freelance and I'm just trying something new. Sometimes it doesn't come out as perfect the first time, but I'm human again. I apologize for my German Shepherd. I have a German Shepherd and a Bull Massive. They're just really happy he's home and he hasn't been home in like a minute. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great holiday and see you in my next video. Bye.